Hey everybody, this is Chris Ritter with the PPI group and there's a quick tip on organizing local files in Revit. Um, by default, Revit uh, stores your local files in your My Documents folder or C, Users, Username, Documents. Uh, if you work on a file or work on uh, central files for a couple months, uh, this folder can get pretty clogged up with local files and different versions, especially if you use the append uh, to timestamp to existing file name. Uh, so how do we fix that? Uh, if you go to the Revit options and under file locations, there's a location of where your user files or your local files are going to be stored. Well, go ahead and uh, browse there, go to your C drive and create a folder on your C drive, for example, underscore Revit local files 14 and store those files there. So what does that do for you? Well, it keeps your My Documents clean. And if we go to the C drive here, it keeps all your local files from um, separate in a folder that you can always keep track of and, and clean up if necessary. You can even make a folder for uh, the different versions of Revit. So Revit local files 13, for example. Um, if you wanted to always Go back to Revit here. Let me hit cancel one more time. So I'm going to change that. Go to Browse. Go to C Drive. Revit Local Files 14. Say Open. Say OK. So now if I find a central file here, I'm going to click that button right there. Go to my Revit Central Files. Click on my Project 1. Create a lo new local file. Open. And then I can override the older versions of local files or append to timestamps. So I'm just going to do append. What does that do for me? That keeps my project nice and clean, my folder nice and clean. You can delete these if needed. Go back to Revit here. If I go to the open dialog box, and I always wanted to know where my local files were, I can browse my local file folder, right click and say add current folder. And now I always know the location. I quickly go to the location on my local files. Hope that helped. Thank you so much.